and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I will be sharing some of my current lifestyle favorites. So I think it was like last month that I shared my current beauty favorites and I had asked in the video if you guys want to see my current lifestyle and like household items and you guys said yes. So here we are um, and I'm excited to do this video because we have a, a very wide range of items, you guys. It's like really random things, but the things that I have really been loving Recently, that I'm like, I don't know like, what I was doing before I found it. We have coffee creamer, we have some edge control, we have my current favorite household, um, I guess, tools that I have been loving, especially keeping this new house clean. First up here, we have these glasses. Now, I don't wear glasses, I do have perfect 2020 vision. Um, however, these are actually blue light glasses. And if you haven't heard of them, essentially, they're glasses that really help to or help relieve your eyes of the blue lights or the blue rays that come out of like your computer screen and your phone screen. And you guys know that I work in tech, so I'm on my computer all day. I'm also on my phone all day, so I need these glasses. The moment I put them on, I just felt like a huge relief in my eyes. And you know how like, there are those days like after looking at your computer and your phone for a long period of time, like you'll get a headache or like your eyes will start to hurt? That happens to me all the time. And so the moment I put these on, like that feeling of like straining my eyes completely went away. So I usually just put these on whenever I'm on my phone or on my computer and it really, really helps make a huge difference. And it also doesn't hurt that they're cute as well. And they came in a set of two, I believe it was a set of two for 20 bucks. So with these like light brown ones and then there's also um, some black ones as well. And then another random thing is my edge control. I get asked all the time if my edges are relaxed, y'all. And people always ask me like, what do I use on my edges kind of help sleek, you know, my hair down. Now, I will admit that I do relax my edges like two or three times a year. It kind of depends on, honestly, it just depends on how I'm feeling. If I want to do it, I'll do it. If I don't want to, I, I won't. I don't have like a set routine as far as like when I do it and how often and things like that. But like right now, I have not relaxed them in a couple months. But this edge control is hands down the only edge control that I have ever used in my entire life that lays my edges down whenever they're, you know, in its, whenever they're in their natural state without them reverting. Because y'all know how hard it is to find a good edge control where like you actually put it on and it actually lasts throughout the day. You know, sometimes like it's, you put it on there and then it's like within an hour your edges curl right back up. And that is what happened to me all the time, or what used to happen to me all the time. But now that I use this, it's like my edges will be laid the entire day. I'll just use this in a small edge brush, kind of swoop them, you know, and that's it. And if you want your edges laid, y'all, this is the one. So again, it's the 24 hour edge tamer. It's the one with the purple top and it's the extreme firm hold. Okay, next up we have some random candy. Let me tell y'all, okay, this is my obsession during like the Valentine's Easter season, okay? It only comes out during Valentine's Day or like I think it comes out around Valentine's Day and then it stays out through Easter. I go through like one bag of these a week. Like it's so sad <laughs> because they're so addicting. It's the Starburst Jelly Beans, and it's the Fave Reds collection. So essentially what it is, it's jelly beans, but it's only red flavors. And y'all know how bomb the red flavors are. So this one, it is watermelon, cherry, and strawberry. It's amazing. I'm telling you, it's like, it's like you can't eat just one. It's like you have to, I remember being with my family for like, it was like last year, I think. And it was around this time of year, and I had had a bag of these with me. And mom was like, oh, can I have, you know, just a few? So I gave her like, you know, like three or four. She ate them and she was like, okay, can I have a few more? And like, she kept asking for them. And I'm like, see, I'm telling you, like, they're addicting. It's like, you can't only have a few. Like, you have to just keep eating them. And it's, they're not good for you. It's actually really sad, but they're so good. Deanna pretty much knows now, just keep these stocked up in the house. <laughs> throughout Easter pretty much. Here is actually a glass coffee mug. It's also a favorite, but I wanted to mention this because I actually get asked about this coffee mug quite a bit because I feel like clear coffee mugs have been in more recently. And I know that I like clear coffee mugs because I like seeing what's going on in the cup, right? So you guys know like I froth my little, you know, my milk, 
I pour that in there, I brew the coffee, and then of course I go ahead and add in the creamer and the syrup. I always get asked about these coffee mugs, but they're actually not coffee mugs. It's actually a beer mug from Ikea, okay? And I found this one day we were walking and I just went across it and I had noticed that it wasn't actually a coffee mug. It is a beer mug, but I was like, this would be the perfect coffee mug because first of all, it's huge. So it holds a lot of coffee, which I make a lot of coffee. Um, and then it's like, once you add in the foam and the creamer and the syrup, like you want a coffee that's big or a cup that's big enough to hold everything. So it's perfect for that. And of course it's clear. It's not one of those cups that keeps your, you know, like your hot coffee hot and your cold coffee cold. It's not one of those at all. So if that's what you do want, then I would go get something else. But if you are looking for a clear coffee mug option, definitely check them out. Okay, oh, also, well, on top of the coffee, I have also been loving the Starbucks Caramel Macchiato Creamer. When it comes to coffee, I am very basic. I have no problem making that. Um, I am pretty much a vanilla caramel, somewhere in that family kind of girl. I just like sweeter taste. I don't like anything too bitter. I'm, I'm just very, very simple. If it's vanilla or if it's caramel, even hazelnut, something with cinnamon and sugar, like I, I'm good. So um, I have been loving the Starbucks Caramel Macchiato Creamer. It's really good. Um, I actually like this place. So I also like the Coffee Mate Creamers. Again, like the simple ones. I think they have like a vanilla, hazelnut. I think they also have a, um, a caramel. Oh, I really love the peppermint mocha one that they had during the holidays. That one's also good. I really love those. However, I feel like the Starbucks creamer, it doesn't dilute the coffee as much as the coffee made ones. Like the coffee made ones taste good. But I feel like just even pouring a little dash of that in there, not even a dash, but like pouring a little bit in there kind of gets rid of the coffee taste, which for me, it's like, I want it to be sweeter, but I still want to taste the coffee and I want it to kind of be balanced out. So I find this is a good job of like adding that sweetness and the flavor that I want, but it doesn't completely dilute or like completely tone down the coffee taste. So it makes it taste exactly how I want it. Okay, I also have been loving this huge giant water bottle. I got it from Ross, I think it was around Black Friday, and I don't have the sticker on anymore. It probably was like 17, 18 bucks. It was like less than $20. Um, but I love this one because it actually holds 64 ounces. So this is an awesome way for me to track my water intake because essentially one of these is my entire water intake for the day because you know how they say that you should drink half of your body weight drink at least half of your body weight in water every day um so all this in the morning fill this up make sure that whenever i go to bed that it's completely done it's also huge and convenient so i don't have to like, keep refilling the bottle throughout the day and it does a good job of keeping the water i guess room temperature i don't like the water cold or hot i'm kind of normal so that's a good job of kind of keeping it, you know, where I like the temperature. So I also have been loving these two perfumes. So um, I, I love perfume, but I've never really been a expensive fragrance kind of girl. Like I really have never really spent a lot of money on perfumes unless it's like a gift from Dion, but I really never have. Um, but I am trying to expand my perfume collection. I wanted something that was a little more potent and that lasted throughout the entire day. I feel like the cheaper ones, at least that I, the ones that I have, it's like they smell good when you first spray it on and then it's like within an hour, it's like you can't really smell anymore. And so um, at the end of last year, I told Dion, I was like, okay, babe, I really want to invest in a good quality perfume, right? And so the first one I bought was this Lancome. It's the Lancome, oh shoot, what's the name of it? Okay, it's the Lancome. La Vie Est Belle. I'm not French, so I don't know how to pronounce that properly. I'm very Texan, y'all. I'll link it down below. It smells so good. It is literally the perfect everyday perfume. It's very light, very airy. I prefer my day scents to be more on the floral, more flirty, like more, uh, more airy side. And this one is just that. It smells so good. It's like roses and... Ugh, it just smells so good. I don't know how to try it, but it smells amazing. 
Again, I'll link it down below and the link will kind of tell you like all the different notes that it has and the fragrance, but I just know it smells amazing. I think there may even be like a little bit of vanilla in here as well. I don't know. It's just bomb and I love it. So I bought this. I bought the big bottle, y'all. That's how you know that I love it, okay? So this one's bomb. I wear it pretty much every day. It's amazing. But when I am feeling spicy and I want to like smell really sexy, especially if I like date nights, this is my new favorite perfume for that. So it's the YSL Libre perfume. And this one here is the complete opposite of the Lancome because where the Lancome is more like, you know, light and floral and flirty, this one is, it's like very like seductive. It's just like very sexy, very spicy. Um, it's still definitely very feminine, but this one here is like the perfect balance of like feminine and sexy and like just seductive and sultry. It's amazing. Again, I don't know all the aromas within this, but if you click the link down below, it'll explain everything that's in here. I'm telling you guys, it's like the perfect combination because you have the perfect one for the daytime and this one's amazing for the nighttime. Okay, so I actually almost forgot one other current favorite and that is these headphones here. Now, they look like normal headphones, right? Just normal Bluetooth or wireless headphones, but these are super cool, and when I say these are going to make me and Beyond's lives 10 times easier, um, these are actually Bluetooth TV headphones, okay? So, um, of course, I'll link them down below. Um, I don't have the full little setup here, but essentially what it is is these headphones came with a little dock, right? And the dock that it sits in, like the headphones sit in, serves as the headphone charger as well as the actual transmitter, okay? So what you do is you actually plug the, the dock or the transmitter into the TV, like with little cords, it comes with the cords and everything, you plug it into the TV, um, and then you make sure it's charged. You can cut this on and you can play the TV through the headphones without having sound come out of the actual TV. Now, you'll probably be like, Car, why do you need this? Okay. Me and Dion, for the most part, have a pretty similar sleep schedule. But at least like two, three times a week, there will be some point during the week where either I will be up working while he's going to sleep or like I'm exhausted and I want to go to sleep, but he wants to stay up and watch a movie. It, it happens at least two to three times a week. It never fails. And so whenever that does happen, one of us of course has to end up compromising. So I actually found these on Amazon and so now whoever it is that wants to stay up and watch a movie or watch TV or whatever can go ahead and still do so but it won't affect the other person because there won't be actual sound coming out of the TV. So again these are amazing. They really do work and y'all it's just if you have a partner <laughs> and you guys have different sleep schedules, or if you have a partner who struggles to fall asleep with the TV on, like me and Dion, then you need these for sure. Okay, so we are almost done. Now on to like the household things. I have three items. The first one... Okay. <laughs> so, the first one here, I have shown... Actually, I've shown both of these items in my cleaning routine. This first one here is the Bissell Power Fresh Steam Mop. Okay, it is amazing. I absolutely love this mop. I don't know what took me so long to get an actual steam mop, but it is like the best thing ever created. Essentially what it is, is it is a powerhouse mop, um, but it creates steam. Whenever you're mopping, that steam helps to lift up any dirt, grime, junk, any like, let's say like if you spilt something on the floor earlier that week and like you wiped it up, like there's still a little bit of that residue there. Or like if you spilt something earlier that week and you didn't know it and like you go to find it or go to mop and you find it, it's been sitting there for weeks. Instead of having to get on your hands and knees and kind of, you know, scrub it out, this just instantly gets rid of that mess because of the steam. Like that steam helps to lift you know, that nastiness from the actual floors. Also, at the bottom here, it does have this little scrubber piece. So if you just push it down, 
it also helps to scrub up the mess as well. So I don't really use it because in my opinion, the mop does a good job of getting most of the things up on its own. But if you need a little bit extra, extra work, this little piece here does a really, really good job. Now, basically what you do is you actually fill in this piece here, fill this up with water and put it in here. Of course you plug this in and then it comes with um, little cloth pads. They're actually in the washer right now, but it comes with little cloth pads that you put in here. And if you want an even fresher scent as you're mopping, you can actually buy these little discs. They're called discs, but you can like put the disc in the cloth pad and then put the cloth pad on here. And as you're mopping, that steam helps to activate that little disc. And so the fragrance of it fills the entire room. It makes your house smell the freshest it has ever smelled. I'm telling you, it is. It's, it literally smells so good. I just usually mix like half water and half actual mop or cleaning solution. Um, and just do that, plug it in and get to mopping. And it is phenomenal. And then the other item is this vacuum here. Now, I got a ton of questions on this. Not only in the cleaning video, but also in the video whenever I was transforming Breland's room. Um, this is actually a vacuum that I got on Amazon. I did search this one because my sister doesn't have this one, but my sister does have um, the older model of this and she had recommended it. And so um, I had went on Amazon, did some more research and thought they had a newer model. And the newer model of this one here comes with an extra battery, which is amazing. So I was like, uh, yeah. Now, it is like 260 bucks, somewhere around there. So it is a little bit on the pricier side for, for a vacuum. For me, it's not that much for the convenience of it. Like, I think that this is worth every penny for the convenience. Some people are probably like, Kyra, that's a lot. Whatever, whatever. I think it's worth it. Now, obviously, it's full of dirt now, and I have not dumped it um, since we last vacuumed. But, essentially, all of these pieces are detachable. So, I can detach this part here, okay? Right, I can detach that. And then, whenever I detach that, that's why I actually dump the, the handle. I can actually detach this bottom part off. And then, I can use this part here to actually reach, like, the ceiling or like a cobweb or you know whatever so this is good for using like a handheld vacuum it's amazing um and then it also comes with like a bunch of other little smaller compartments or little smaller pieces or attachments to use with it honestly i've never really used any of the other attachments i just use pretty much this main piece here but if i need them they're there last thing is that it comes with um rechargeable batteries and so what you do is you pop it off you put it on the charging dock that comes with the actual vacuum, put it on there, charge it up. Again, this model here came with two batteries. So I recommend for sure that if you do get this vacuum to make sure that it comes with two batteries. So you can always have a backup and then just pop it on there and then you get vacuum. Okay, and the last one to mention was my Nespresso. Of course, that will be included in my current favorites because y'all don't know what I would do without that Dogma Nespresso machine. <laughs> it is amazing. I legit, I think that I may, since we have moved in this house and I got that Nespresso, I may have gone to Starbucks maybe twice. It has literally changed my life and it makes such amazing coffee. I have been getting them off of Amazon. I did recently go to the Galleria here in Houston and I was actually out of Nespresso pods and whenever I went, I had picked up some pods from the actual Nespresso store. And so whenever I was there, I had got like a pack of, of three different pods and each pack comes with 10, I think it's 10 pods in each pack. Um, this one that I got, I got the Venezio. I had got the caramel, that's just the light yellow one is vanilla, the orange is the caramel, and then this here is a, I think it was like a cinnamon swirl, a cinnamon sugar, something like that, I can't remember, I don't know, it's, I don't have the box anymore, and it doesn't say it on here, but I had got these, but normally I would order, there is a 30 pack on Amazon, 30 total, 
it's 30 total, but it has 10 vanilla, 10 caramel, and 10 hazelnut. That's my normal go-to. Again, I'm very, very simple. And so I had been ordering that pack on Amazon. It's good because A, it's Amazon. And I believe that that pack um, can get same day shipping. So like if you order it in the morning, you can get it by the end of the day. And then my actual espresso machine is back, back there. I'll do a little post up, little clip. Um, but I have the Nespresso, I think it's a Virtuo coffee machine. And I got the bundle that included the coffee machine as well as the frother machine, which again is why I have not purchased Starbucks since I have gotten it or have not purchased it hardly at all since. Of course the frother allows you to make your own like foam milk or foamy milk at home. And then of course the Nespresso is just the bomb.com itself. I will note that I did get the matte black one, and I believe you have to order the matte black on the actual Nespresso website. I got them on sale, they're always on sale, so keep an eye out for that, but it's bomb, I love it, and it's definitely worth every penny as well. So you guys, that is it for all of my current lifestyle and household favorites. Um, again, a really random mix, but definitely my favorites nonetheless. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, let me know down below if you guys have tried any of these items or if you guys plan to try any of these items. I would love to hear your thoughts. And also share some of your current favorites with me down below. I would love to hear your suggestions. I'm always looking for new stuff, so let me know down below. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye, y'all.